All right, continuing on, now we have a subtraction problem where we have 21 minus 0 0.896. So again, we're going to keep this nice and lined up. And 21 being a whole number, the decimal naturally follows right behind that one's position. So if I subtract that from, or subtract from that, rather I should say, 0 0.896, we have to keep those decimals nice and lined up. So now, in order to see those places so we can do the subtraction, we could always fill in those missing places behind the decimal with zeros. That's perfectly reasonable. Now, we cannot take 6 from nothing, so we're going to have to borrow. We're going to end up having to borrow from way over here. So whenever I take this 1 and I turn it into tenths, it would be 10 tenths. And now we can borrow the, from one from there and turn it into hundredths. And then we can borrow one from there and turn it into ten thousandths. And now we've got the exact same amount. So, now let's go ahead and do our subtraction here. We have ten minus six would be four. Nine minus nine would be zero. 9 minus 8 would be 1, keeping our decimal nice and lined up. 0 minus 0 is 0, and 2 minus nothing is 2. So our answer here would be 20.104. Got to keep those decimals lined up. That's the key right there. Now, what if we just had words? If it just said subtract 0 0.291 from 0 0.4. Well, in order to do that, we need to know what order we're doing the subtraction in. When you subtract from something else, that means that this has to be our first number, and we subtract from it the second number. So whenever I line these up, I'm going to actually put the 0 0.4 first minus the 0 0.291. That's taking this number away from this number. Now I'm going to go ahead and put zeros in here so that I can see those places nice and lined up. And we cannot take 0 from 1, so we're going to have to borrow, which means we have to borrow from way over here. Now turning this, um, those tenths into hundredths, we would have to put ten there, and now we're going to borrow and turn that into thousandths. So now we can do our subtraction. Ten minus one would be nine. Nine minus nine is zero. Three minus two would be one, keeping my decimal nice and lined up. 0 minus 0 is 0. So our answer here would now be 0 0.109.